We've got two massive games today as we take on Port Vale in a top of the table class and the Bolton battle is revisited in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 39 of my Kingsland Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. And yep guys, two massive games today. Top of the table versus Port Vale. And then the Bolton battle, we go again. Can we beat them this time? That would be very, very nice. And so, let's go and catch you up on how things have been going since we was last together. You was with me here for the one-all draw against Bolton. We was very lucky to get out of that game with the win, I think, after going a man down with 10 minutes left. But then, following on from that, we had a 2-1 win against Torquay. We was 2-0 up by the 65th minute. They had a man sent off in the 91st minute, but somehow they scored in the 92nd minute. Don't ask me how, but they did. And then that was the end of our unbeaten run in the league. Because after that, we lost 2-1 to York. And they've got a very, very good striker on their books. Demario Brown Sterling. He's the top scorer in the league. And he's not even a striker. He's a left winger. But you can see there, 24 games, 20 goals. He's out of contract at the end of the season. I might try and nick him. I might try and nick him at the end of the season. And so, after that, we had a disastrous result against Telford in the FA Cup. Nil-nil draw. Telford are still in the league below us. So we should really have been beating them. But we just couldn't break them down in that game. And then the replay. What was it? Four days later. We lost that one. Thanks to a very dodgy penalty. Given away against us. I think it was never a penalty. I think that's the one thing with the new ME. That I'm not happy with. The amount of dodgy penalties. Where you can see your man's got the ball. But they give a penalty anyway. I've really not been happy with that. But yet yeah, we had one of those. And so we lost in the FA Cup. Which is really, really bad. Because we needed a big team to come and see us. Down at the walks to help with our finances. But that is not to be. And then we lost again in the league. This time to South Shields. Thomas Allen in the 72nd minute. As you can see on the ratings, nobody played well at all in that game. But after that, we got a nil-nil draw against Macclesfield. Still nobody playing exceptionally well. But in the last month, in November, we have started to turn it round again. We had a 3-0 win against Basingstoke. Mundell with a goal. Wright Phillips with another couple. Yeovil, 3-2. We was 3-0 up going into the last 15 minutes. But they got two back to make things nervy. But we held on for, a, for another win. So that's very nice. And then Chelmsford, 1-1 draw there. Adam Marriott from the penalty spot rescuing us from another defeat there. And then Hereford, 1-0 win. Our second choice striker, Tristan Aberdeen Goodridge off the bench, getting us the goal there to win us that game. And then the last game we have played is Eastleigh, 2 2 draw. Quite lucky to get a draw out of this game, I'm going to say, because it was an own goal. Well, they call it an own goal. The, our man had a shot, it hit the bar, hit the keeper, and then went in. So it was one of those. And then we got our equaliser in the 88th minute. So, thankfully, we did escape defeat there once more. And that all leads us to where we are today. Port Vale, second in the league. Bolton, seventh in the league. We are going to the University of Bolton Stadium, a.k.a. the Reebok. So excited for Kingsley to be going there. 
we should be getting a decent crowd at that stadium, you would think. So it'd be nice to play in front of a whole lot of people. And now, let's go and get into the team for today's first game versus Port Vale. Poor fitness levels has meant that we've had to make a few changes to the team. We've got Herbin in goal, Tommy Smith on the left-hand side of our defence, our big giant of a central defender, Barnett, comes in alongside Andrew Unpronounceable. Rob Crampton takes Dylan Crow's place at right back. And then in midfield, Nathaniel Lewis, who is doing very well on the left-hand side. He keeps his place there. Ewan Murray comes in alongside Diaz Wright because McCarthy is one of those with poor fitness levels. DiMaggio Wright-Phillips is the big risk for today's game. He's only on 85% fitness, but I'm risking him because he is that good. We need him in a game like this. And then up top, Bernardo Rosa, the Brazilian, he needs a good game today. He's replacing Romain Mundell, and Adam Maria is up top. Can he get another couple of goals today to get us a massive win? Let's go and get into the game and find out. The bookmakers have got Port Vale as the favourites, despite them being second in the league to our first, and us being in better recent form. We've won three and drawn two of our last five. They've only won two and lost two and drawn the other one of their last five. So you would expect us to be the favourites, perhaps? But apparently not. So now, let's go and get into the dressing room. Here we are, guys, in the dressing room. As ever, our assistant manager is a lazy git and doesn't set any opposition instructions. And so, let's go assertive. We've been on a good run lately. Go out there and impress me. Only two people reacting to that. And now, I have faith. I have faith. And I have faith, for faith, for faith. And now, let's go and get... Into kickoff prediction time. Two 0 us. I'm feeling confident. Come on, Kingsley. Two 0 win would be very nice. Three minutes into the game, Port Vale starting the, the highlight off with a free kick, but we win it back. The ball goes back to Herbin in our six-yard box, and what's he going to do with it here? Goes out wide to Tommy Smith. And Smith, can he come forward? Nope, it goes to Lewis. And now Lewis, what's he going to do? He's coming forward with it. He's into our box. Come on, is he going to take the shot on? He is, and it's saved there by the man for Deason. Sounds like a car. Almost half an hour gone. Crampton throwing the ball in to Rosa. He crosses it into the box. Lewis with the header, and that was quite poor. Just a couple of minutes later, and we have a free kick. You and Murray to take it. It goes over the wall and it's in the back of the net. Wowzers. What a goal. What an absolute beauty from you and Murray. Oh my gosh. If he can do that, he's getting into the team more often. Wowzers. Five minutes later, Port Vale with the ball. Agho with it now. And it gets crossed into the box Hurst. And Murray heads it away. Conlon gets it for the men in white. Goes out wide. Karras, is he going to get this into the box? Yes, he is. Ago with the header. And that thankfully goes wide. And that is the half-time whistle. We are 1-0 up in this massive game. We've had eight shots, two there, five. Three on target, two there, two. No clear-cut chances for either side. And 56% of the possession, two there, 44 so let's go and tell the lads that we can do even better. Let's go assertive. Yep, I know you're doing well, but you're capable of doing better. Again, not much reaction. Uh, I have faith, and yep, this should work. Yep, here we go. Are we going to get everybody happy? No, we're not. Everyone but Bernardo Rosa. And so, come on, one more goal would be very nice. Come on, Kingsley. Almost an hour gone in the game, and it's Port Vale's keeper playing the ball away. And it goes forward, Ago is in, he's in loads of space, and he's equalised. What was our keeper doing? He was just staring at him, transfixed. And, oh, that's a 
very, very simple goal to be conceding. You see it here. Once their defender hoofed it forward, Ago just beat our big giant defender there for pace and puts the ball coolly in the back of the net. 65 minutes on the clock now. Murray with the ball, crosses it, but it gets taken away by Kokolo. And now it's Rowe with the ball. Come on, we need to get it back off him here. Come on, can we please? Rowe plays it inside. Ago's in the box. He shoots and Herbin with the save. And it goes out into that empty stand for a corner ball. We need to get this away. Carras with the ball. Baron Barnett, our giant defender there, getting it out. Ago right with a very nice tackle there, but doesn't do anything with it. And that ends that highlight. Okay, right after that highlight, we're just making the one sub. Bernardo Rosa, I think his time at the club is coming to an end. He's never really impressed at all in, at this club. So, I've taken him off and we've brought on Abledine Goodridge to go alongside Marriott in a 4-4-2. Let's see how that works for the next 10 minutes and then I might make some more subs and some tactical changes. Come on, we need to win this game. We've just gone attacking and now Murray with a free kick goes to our defender, Dave Barnett. And that is why you have a 10 foot tall central defender in your team. Because he can do things like that. Dave Barnett with a very nice header. Powering it, put, powering it past their keeper. Barnett there, look at him, just towering over everyone. And we are leading with 10 minutes left to go. Okay, five minutes left. We're just making one more change. DiMaggio White-Phillips is pretty much on his deathbed, as is our central defender who's just scored, I've just noticed. So we're going to be making two changes. DiMaggio White-Phillips off for Walters, and our goal-scoring defender, Dave Barnett, is off. For Macaulay Robinson, surely we can see this game out now. Yes, indeed we have. 2-1 win against Port Vale. 20 shots, 2 there, 13. 11 on target, 2 there, 8. They had both the clear-cut chances in the game, but that did not help him that much. And we had 53% of the ball, 2 there, 47%. So now let's go team talk, let's go passionate, a very nice victory, well done, pretty much everybody's delighted, let's end the team talk there and I'll be back with you guys in a second for the Bolton game. We're back to pretty much full strength for today's game against Bolton, Herbin keeps his place in goal, Tyreek Wilson comes back in at left back. Barnett and Andrew Unpronounceable keep their places in the centre of defence. Dylan Crowe's back at right back. And in the middle of the pitch, Lewis, Murray, McCarthy and Wright Phillips make up the midfield four. McCarthy the only change there from the last game. And then up top, Romain Mundell returns alongside his good mate Adam Marriott. Feeling very confident for this game. Let's go and have a look and see what the bookies are saying. The bookmakers have us as the favourites. 6-4 to four to win the game. We've won three, drawn two of our last five. Bolton have only won one of their last five, including losing their last game, I think, as they've now dropped down to ninth in the table. So, should be a win, you would think. But it's Bolton. It's a big, big stadium. Maybe players might get nervy, but I'm hoping not. Let's go and get into the dressing room. Here we are in the dressing room. And as ever, let's go assertive and let's go. We've been on a good run lately. No reaction from the boys there. I have faith. I have faith. And you know what? I got faith. And so all but two of the team are looking motivated. You know what? I'm feeling really confident for this one. I'm going to go 3 0 win now. 3 0 win, I'm thinking. Come on, you Linets. Five minutes into the game, Murray with a free kick whips it into the box. The Bolton man heads it away, goes to Clark. And now, what's Clark going to do with it? Goes back to his man there, Armstrong. That's a weird pass to be making. But he's gone to Gordon, and Bolton have got the ball away. 
But then our oh, big friendly giant Barnet plays it long and Marriott is unable to win that header. Mundell gets it in the centre circle, goes to White Phillips with a beautiful pass there. White Phillips goes for the shot and that was poor. He should have squared it for Marriott there. 37 minutes gone, we've got to throw in Lewis with the ball. Gets it into the box, their man Armstrong heads away. McCarthy should pick this up and he does. Goes to Dylan Crow, who goes back to Andrew Unpronounceable. Wide to Crow. And now DiMaggio with it. What can he do? Absolutely nothing is the answer. And now Finley plays the ball long. Goes to Debenham. Goes to Nugandu. And what is Nugandu going to do with it? He's coming inside the middle is what he's doing. He's running at our defence. Is he going to take the shot on? Yes, he is. But Herbin with the nice, comfortable save there. And now immediately after that, right, Phillips now with the ball. He tries to play it long. Smith heads it back to Fox. Now it goes to Armstrong. He plays the ball long, but only goes to our man, Wilson. And now Lewis with it. What can Lewis do down the left-hand side? He's just about kept it in. Crosses it back. Mario with the header. And that's his 10th of the season. That is a very, very nice header there. Very well done by Lewis. Keeping it in not only on the left-hand side, but also down the byline as well. As here you will see, it could have gone out there, but he kept it in. And it could have gone out there. But he's kept it in twice. And Marriott with a beautiful headed goal. We are leading in front of the 10,000 odd people here at the Bolton Stadium. And that is the half time whistle. We are leading 1 0. We've had 8 shots to Bolton's 3. 4 on target to their 1. 59% of the possession to their 41%. And so let's go into the dressing room. And let's see if we can encourage them to get a couple more goals. No reaction there. Uh, assertive, you weren't bad, but you can still improve. And once again. And once again. And so, come on, at least one more goal would be very nice. Come on, you Linux. Oh, 54 minutes gone now, and we've got a free kick in a similar place to where Murray scored in the last game. He's put it over the wall again, and he's done it again. <laughs> Dimitri Payet, eat your heart out. We have got a new free kick master, Ewan Murray. What a free kick once again. Look at that. Oh, it went through the keeper's hands. But that is now 2-0. OK, just over 20 minutes left to go. DiMaggio White-Phillips has had a quiet game. So we're taking him off. We're 2-0 up. We're resting him for the next few games. So he's come off for Walters. And Xavier Simmons has come on for Cannon McCarthy, who as well has been rather quiet. There you go, lads. Kingsley 2 Bolton nil. We have beaten ex-Premier League team Bolton in a competitive league fixture. Whoever would have thought that. We had 19 shots to their four. Seven on target to their one. No clear-cut chances for either side. But 58% of the ball. Ah, oh, what a result that is. What an episode this has been. Two cracking results. And now let's go. I'm very happy with that. And everybody's delighted. And now let's go and check out the league table and see where we'll come back for the next episode on Thursday. So let's go continue. Here we are, guys. We are now five points clear at the top of the table and still with an absolutely stupendous 35 goal difference. We have only conceded 11 goals this season and we've scored 46. We have just been on absolute fire. So now let's go and see when shall we come back. We will come back for something around January, February time. Uh, how, about, how about Salford and FC Halifax? How are we feeling about that for a double header? Yeah, I think we'll come back for that. 
Salford and Halifax doubleheader. So that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six games to play off camera. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We will do that. Salford and Halifax. And so, guys, if you've enjoyed that video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content, the India Builder Nation series, the FM25 Years On series, which will be back tomorrow, and as well as that, my Real Madrid Pro Evo 20 Classic League series. Check all them out on the channel over the next few days. We are trying to get to 600. As I recalled this Monday morning, we're on 597. So if we could hit 600 this week, that would be amazing. And as well as that, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. And check out all the other Passion for FM website. Ben, get that right. Get, get your outro right, mate. Check out the Passion for FM Discord, Twitter, website, Facebook, and check out all the other Passion for FM YouTubers. Check them all out. Their details are all down below. And uh, yep, guys, I shall see you tomorrow for Double Upload Wednesday, FM 20, five years on, and Real Madrid Classic League. See you later. Bye.